Today, we are going to have another nursing mnemonics discussion. For today, I am teaching you how are you going to easily remember the clinical manifestation of your hypoglycemia. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. <laughs> I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational content two to three times in a week. Don't miss that out. You subscribe now, you hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that would really help me know that you like to see more content like this. Without further do let's jump into the video nurses hello nurses kumusta kayo ano mga ganap nyo wherever you are right now whatever time zone you're watching me right now um i wish you good morning i wish you good morning good morning good afternoon good night and i wish you all the best today okay you own this day may napapansin ba kayo medyo matagal-tagal tayong hindi nag-upload ng nursing mnemonics ngayong araw ang tatalakay natin is your clinical manifestation of hypoglycemia pero mas gagawin natin siyang pinadali because this is another nursing mnemonics um, review materials I created just for you now kung hindi mo pa napapanood yung iba nating mga nursing mnemonics alam mo naman yung mga mnemonics pinapadali niya ng buhay natin ililink ko yung actual playlist dito or check out the description box makikita mo yon kasama ng iba kong mga nursing educational videos okay once again i want to thank you for watching my previous upload sa nursing educational videos maraming maraming salamat po na appreciate kita and excited na ako i-share sa iyo to this is going to be very quick handa ka na in order for me to do that i will need to switch back to my pc and i'll see you guys in a bit all right hi everybody welcome back sa ating formal discussion ng iyong hypoglycemia clinical manifest Patients. Yes, let this be your nursing mnemonic guide, study guide na rin sa pag-aaral mo ng um, clinical manifestation ng yung hypoglycemia. Now, this is another entry natin sa medical surgical nursing. I actually created tons of videos about mga nursing mnemonics, mga nursing reviewers, you know, just to make your lives easier and studying the concepts on some of the vague um, uh, topics, nursing topics that we have in nursing. Now... Uh, mabilis lang to guys. Um, hopefully, matapos natin to in less than 10 minutes. So, eto na. Ano ba yung mga dapat mong asahan sa ating discussion for today? Now, first, we're gonna have overview, the normal values, the signs and symptoms, of course, of your hypoglycemia. Okay, handa ka na. Let's proceed. Okay, overview. Ano nga ba ang yung hypoglycemia? Bigyan lang natin to ng medical definition. Now, as per definition, hypoglycemia is a condition in which your blood sugar or yung glucose na tinatawag natin, lever, le, excuse me, level is lower than normal. Glucose is your body's main energy source. Hypoglycemia is often related to diabetes treatment, but other drugs and variety of conditions, many rare, can cause low blood sugar in people who don't have diabetes. Okay, hypo, hypo meaning lower than normal. Glyce, gly, gly, glucose, semia, emia, emia, in blood. So, low glucose level in blood. Alright. So, paano natin masasabi na norm na tag dito, hypogly, yung yung presyente? Siyempre, meron kanyang basihan. Andit ito ang iyong normal values. Bakit ba ako nabubulo? <laughs> Alright. So, ito na siya, nurses. Tandaan nyo po na kapag hypoglycemia, uh, para ma-rule out mo, kailangan alam mo yung normal values natin. So, blood sugar level less than 150 milligrams per deciliter is normal. Less than 150 milligrams per deciliter. This is normal. Now, a reading of more than 200 milligrams per DL or deciliter after 2 hours indicates diabetes. A reading between 140 and 199 milligrams per deciliter indicates pre-diabetes. Again, ang standard ang numerical value mo dito is 100. Alright? So, malinaw sa'yo yon. Proceed na tayo. 
Okay, ang bilis naman nito, oy. Oh, okay. So signs and symptoms na nga tayo ng ating hypoglycemia. Ito na yung pinunta mo dito. Pero bago tayo mag-proceed, gusto ko lang malaman mo na ililink ko sa baba o ililink ko sa icon button kapag nagpapout yun. I-check mo yung icon button kasi nandoon yung actual playlist natin ng na mga nursing pneumonics and some other playlist na na create ko regarding sa nursing studies. Kung hindi mo man siya makita sa icon button, nandoon din siya sa my description box. Okay? So, eto na nga tayo. Proceed na tayo. Para mas maunawaan mo yung ating clinical manifestation ng hypoglycemia, ito na po siya. So, signs and symptoms ng iyong hypoglycemia, gusto ko lang bago tayo mag-proceed na maalala mo ulit ang ating normal value. So, blood sugar level natin is less than 140 milligrams per DL. That is your normal value. Okay? Now, ano-ano nga ba yun? Gusto ko tandaan mo itong sentence na to. Sentence or phrase. He is tired. Yes, pagod siya kasi nga hypogly. Charing. Okay, so kada letra nito Tong, he is tired has um, uh, a meaning. Ito na siya. H is for headache. Now, bakit nagkakaroon ng headache? Now, the brain is receiving enough glucose causes most of the symptoms of hypoglycemia, which include headache, migraine, confusion, nausea, sweating, faintness, and hypothermia. If hypoglycemia is very severe and prolonged, it can even cause loss of consciousness and death, yung coma. Although this is very rare. Kapag hindi lang naagapan, pwede siya mag-cause ng death. Okay, oh, no. which is sa mga severe cases na talaga yun. Okay, ano yung I? ay nang he is tired, irritability and sweating. Now, bakit nagkakaroon ng irritability and sweating, you guys? A low blood glucose level is called hypoglycemia. Alam mo na yon. Hypoglycemia triggers the fight or flight response in the body. As a result, the body produces additional norepinephrine and adrenaline which can lead to heavy sweating as well as shakiness and anxiety. Flight or fight response. Ano yung una mong pumapasok sa utak mo nito? Simple pathetic effect. Okay? Everything goes up except for your GI and GU. Hence, kaya meron tayong irritability, meron tayong sweating. Okay. Because that's really the body trying to compensate. Compensatory mechanism yun ng ating katawan. Ano yung T? Tachycardia. Bakit naman nagkakaroon ng tachycardia, you guys? Autonomic activation, principally of the sympatho adrenaline system result in end organ stimulation and profuse release of epinephrine which precipitates hemodynamic changes like tachycardia increase peripheral systolic blood pressure decrease central blood pressure and increase myocardial contractility kaya ka nagkakaroon ng tachycardia okay pag sinabi mong tachycardia ano normal level ng nagpapalpit ang pa, nagpapalpitation ng yung pasyente anong anong normal value mo tandaan mo lang side note 60 to 100 beats per minute po so more than 100 beats per minute is considered tachycardiac Okay, irritability. Bakit nagkakaroon ng irritability ang yung pasyenteng may hypoglycemia? Now, your brain or the patient's brain or human's brain, ano ba talaga? The center of your thoughts and emotions needs glucose to do its job. If you don't have enough glucose to feed your brain, your brain can go Hey, wire. Even though it seems like you are overly emotional, this is really a physical response to low blood sugar level. Kaya ang kakaroon ng irritability. Ano pa? Restlessness. Restless ang yung pasyente ng hypoglycemia. Bakit? Now, if your blood sugar drops while you are sleeping, your partner or other family members may notice that you are sweating and behaving differently. Signs of low blood sugar at night or tinatawag nating nocturnal hypoglycemia. Senia include restlessness. Ano pa? Excessive hunger. Yes, gutom na gutom ito. Gutom na gutom ang mga tao na gahaypogla. Yung hunger pangs na tinatawag natin. Now, it happens when you experience low blood sugar so often that it changes your body's response. Normally, low blood sugar causes your body to release stress hormones such as epinephrine. Epinephrine is responsible for those early warning signs like hunger and shakiness. Hunger, pangs, hunger, excessive hunger sa iyong hypoglycemia. All right, last one, D. D is for dizziness, okay? Now, a person would... So, bakit may dizziness? Simple. A person with diabetes can develop hypoglycemia from a decrease of food intake or from taking too much medication, insulin, or 
oral tablets. Bakit pinapababa kasi ng insulin, medication, ang iyong sugar level. So, blood. pag nasobrahan, it could lead to magiging reversible action siya. Magkakaroon siya ng hypoglycemia. So, watch out for that. Now, this could result in low blood sugar levels. In this situation, the person experiences dizziness or lightheadedness because the brain lacks glucose to function properly. You guys, what what the, I want you to take uh, to take away from this discussion is that sugar or sugar level in blood plays or sugar in general plays a big role in maintaining the function of our nervous system, our brain. Our brain needs sugar to function well and the same as other parts of our body because that is our body's source of energy aside from fats, carbohydrates, um, so those other stuff. But this is basically the end of our discussion for your clinic, uh, clinical manifestations of your hypoglycemia. Thank you so much once again for watching. I hope you learned something. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want me to do for you. Comment it down below. Abangan nyo po yung mga next nating video regarding sa nursing this um nursing topic or nursing um, education kasi mag upload po ako this week at sa mga darating pang araw. Ini-encourage ulit kita na panoorin mo yung iba nating mga videos. Yung videos na ginawa ko, apakarami po. Panoorin nyo po siya, nandiyan siya lahat sa my description box. Okay? If you wanna see more contents like this on this channel, ipamalita mo na help me out. Spread the news about my channel. Ipamalita mo na ang pinakabago, pinakalibre at pinakafresh, pinakamasayang review center, nursing review center sa balat Nang YouTube. I'll see you again, nurses. You have a good one. Thank you so much, nurses, for watching. I hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. You are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team cool Talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Galve official. I'll see you again.